All right, welcome everyone. I'm Serta from Slytherin, and next to me is sitting Alex, also known as Galangalat on the forums. Welcome. Hello, guys. And today we're going to present to you again uh, Order of Battle Pacific, um, turn-based strategy game set in the Pacific, like the name suggests, and it's actually releasing tomorrow. So this is a very good way to see and uh, have a good taste of the game before you decide to jump in and buy tomorrow. Alex, what are you going to show us today? Okay, we're going to show um, the Bataan invasion um, from a Japanese point of view, because last week we showed uh, the Americans um, having an invasion to, into Okinawa. Now, primary objectives is we need to conquer six primary victory, victory point locations that are those golden um, flags. And we have got secondary objectives, which gives us also, objective rewards, additional resource points will be assigned to your command. So if we get that one, here one is capture Corregido. And the last one is get this fortress. Right, so this is a mission from the Japanese campaign then? It is indeed, yes. Okay, okay. Um, for those of you wondering, um, we have the Artistocrats also in the chat here. Um, so if you have any question, either for us or for the developer directly, uh, please drop it in the chat. Um, it does require you to have a Twitch account, so make one. It's free if you don't have one yet. Um, that will also allow you to subscribe to our channel as well. So don't hesitate. Ask any question you want in the Twitch chat, and we'll try and answer it for you. Um, All right. Let's focus on the attack now. I need to cross that river. Usually in the river, my forces are a bit disadvantaged, but... What choices have I, have I got? I'm just going to go in there. Hey, Pat Garrett, good to see you again. Those are parach paratroopers. I'm going to drop them behind the lines. All right, you get some paratroopers set up already. Yes, this is my strategic bomber. He's going to attack and drop the efficiency of the enemy so as you can see it's it it went yellow so they had a dro uh, drop in efficiency which means they're going to fight less well so we've got power troopers as well here we're going to land them maybe here so this is my artillery which can soften up um, enemy fortifications and uh, troops as well mm -hmm. Right, zero casualties yet. Yep, but efficiency drop. We've got a scout plane, so we can see where the enemy is fighting. Okay, now let's focus on the other front. Let's move those boys forward. As you can see, as I, as I might move them here, you can see the predictions. Two losses on each side. So I'm just going to move them in now. Across the river. Japanese engineers, Japanese infantry. Right, so you're prepared to take some casualties here in crossing the river. Well, what else have I? There's no other choice, I, I, I have to take casualties. So let's have a look. Um, where should I focus on? Well, let's attack here. Um, so last week we showed this game as well, we showed the American side, uh, we covered some of the basics as well. Uh, if you missed that one, you can either rewatch it on our YouTube or Twitch channel. Um, let me give you a quick overview of the game though. Uh, it is a turn-based strategy game using uh, hexes, um, using a lot of historical units um, covering multiple nations, and it has uh, two campaigns and a tutorial campaign as well teaching you the basics. Um, one of the campaigns is for the US, one is for the Japanese, and here we're into a mission of one of the Japanese campaigns. Uh, campaigns are quite long. Uh, how many missions again per campaign were there? There's 12 on each side, and we've got four boot missions. Okay. Boot camp missions. To get familiar with the game. Right, so your tank is actually doing some nice casualties.
So a question here by um, uh, Party Commissar. Um, yes, you see indeed some Philippine flags here. Uh, different nations are present, not just the Americans and the Japanese. Um, and each of these nations have their own units and stats, correct? That's correct. Yeah, we've got Australian troops, we've got UK troops, we've got Dutch as well. Which makes Soto smile. <laughs> of course it does. No game is complete without some Dutch troops. <laughs> of course not. Casualty with my right, so the AI is responding to your yeah, the initial attack here, relocating anti air. It's anti air. Ouch. So I can see some sandbags near some of the uh, allied units. What does that what does that mean? After one turn, if they did not move, it means they're going to dig in and going to have a benefit in combat. Right. So that means that basically the reason you're taking some casualties is you're attacking from a river into an entrenched enemy unit. Yes, they're getting entrenched now, which is... Oh, that's a nice hit. For me. Thanks. <laughs> okay, they push back. And this should take those guys out. I'm going to refit those guys. It means I have to pay five. This is my um, acquisition points. Mm -hmm. I, they accumulate over time. And also when I take um, victory point locations. And this is what I have to pay. I have to pay five to get two back. I only get two back because I'm next to the enemy. It will be um, seasoned troops. And this would be um, recruits. What's, so, what's the difference between those two then? Well, if you want to keep up with your um, with your experience, you've got experience. They accumulate already 142 experience. Mm -hmm. um, they're going to keep the experience if you go with recruits. Um, it goes down a bit. Okay. And this these experience, do, do you take the the experience from from mission to mission as well? If you play the campaign, yes, you've got core uh, core units. You're going to take them over into the next mission. All oh, right, you managed to destroy a bunker there. Yeah, getting headway a bit. So the tanks will run as well. Very nice, you actually managed to cross the river already. Yeah, I'm breaching through the enemy lines here. Let's have a look what they've got in store here with my recon. That's nothing there. Let's pepper them a bit. I can see the enemy AI shooting at you, even though they're not. You're not directly above it. Yeah, they've got um, two hexes that I can shoot at. So I'm going to disembark my fine parachuters. Okay. Be... Let's drop them here. Oh no! They drifted off, and they're going to land here. Well, what can we do? So, okay. so <laughs> they actually missed the drop zone. Oh well. The winds were a bit too strong. Lovely. <laughs> Although they're isolated now, will you be able to? That's why I'm trying to punch through that. So are we going to be in contact again? Right, because wh what would happen if they would remain isolated? Well, they would um, be out of supply. I would not be able to resupply them with troops. And I would have a combat efficiency drop as well. So now you can see uh, paratroopers are here. Mm -hmm. Flanking um, this anti tank gun. That's what the blue plus sign is pulsating. So I'm getting a positive modifier to attack them. Okay. Right, trying to get off the bridge there. Yep, it's never good to be on a bridge. Okay, we've got paratroopers here as well. I dropped down. 
it's up to you, mate. <laughs> Let's um, move them forward a bit. Go zero. You can see here. It took um, it took already um, casualties, and it's got still 12 turns left to um, for fuel. So, so it has to land again. So I'm going to land this for the time being to recover. Okay. And, uh, so plates can only be yes. repaired or refitted when they are on an airfield. On an airfield, then. Yes, exactly. I can uh, refit them next turn. Well, they're rearranging their front lines, but that's again. Ah, that's good. Yes, he would like to fight against the tank, preferably. Okay. No, no let's not move him forward yet. Right, that's a nice breakthrough there. Should we attack here or should we attack here? I think you can let the Filipinos be isolated at some point. Let's get go to land. I'm going to refit those guys. Welcome, Alex Fabian. Glad you could join us. <clears throat> Ah, the AI is. Uh, Let's finish this guy. Guns off. is pointed at your troops just as easily. Ah, very nice. I'm flamethrower in action. <laughs> it's two against two. I don't want to risk that. Two losses on my that, side. That so. American anti air unit is being quite tough to beat actually still holding its position let's take those out let's go to the other side After the bombardment, you can see there are hexes here. Mm -hmm. That means I can move away for my other aircraft. I've got other aircraft if I want to bombard those positions as well. Right. Ah, thank you for the compliment, Kitsos. Um, also, I'm, I'm sure that the developer has many more plans uh, for this engine as well. So perhaps at one, one day he'll be able to uh, provide you with the large kill. Uh, game you're looking for. Uh, to be fair, some of these scenarios can be pretty big. This is not nearly the biggest one there is in game. Uh, there's a question being asked here about commanders in game. Are they in game and how do they work? Um, again, my parachute drop was not. As was intended to go. Um, you, you get commanders that will be unlocked and so you can attach them to troops. Right, and what do they do when they're attached? Well, they give you advantages in uh, strength and they also got a range, so they um, also take effect for uh, neighboring units. Okay, so they inspire units next to it. Exactly, so you get um, a deficiency of while in combat. I think I've got, I'm not going to rebuild those. My um, my zero there is sitting there at the moment. Mm -hmm. I could, um, it's on six. I could replenish their forces as well. I'm going to do a bit, um, it cost me 22, it's quite a lot. So right. I'm not going to do it for the time being. Just skip it because I need it for my ground forces. 
Let's have a bit of a recon on there. They yeah, they cut me off. Yeah, cut me off. Cut my my free infantry off, which is not nice. The AI is quite keen on doing that. I've seen quite. I see all the red dots now in, in on your units. Yeah, you can see that they're out of supply. I Means they're going to have a um, combat malus. But right, fairly easy to fix this time. Too far out. Ah, very yeah. nice. You probably want to get the infantry off the bridge, though. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to reinforce them as well. Okay, let's go to the front line. Um, so yes, uh, Lucas, or also uh, known as the Artistocrats here in the Twitch chat, is the uh, lead developer, so any questions uh, you might have, he'll be able to answer. Uh, he just elaborated a bit on the uh, different commanders. Um, so you get commanders, um, you can attach them to either land forces or air forces or naval forces. Um, you'll be able to reassign them as well, though it, takes, uh, it can take up to one turn. Like Alex said, they have a command range that inspires nearby troops to um, have increased efficiency as well. And should the unit die um, or get wounded, uh, or they are wounded or imprisoned, um, so that will, would disable them for a couple of turns before you can get them back and, and reassign them to a different group. He doesn't want. He's very persistent, especially for an anti-aircraft gun. This should fix it. That's it. Excellent. I don't want to commit my points. Right. So you don't want to use it at all then, because if you no, not for the aircraft. Right. I'm quite safe. I hope they're yeah, out of supply, but let's take it. Oh, you get a nice cash bonus as well, so perhaps you could yeah, start repairing them. Victory points now. It was one of the cities I had to take. And you also can see that the flag it's going to raise it takes a while until it gets over into my possession. You can see the um, supply. Mm -hmm. The supply, this means... Right, so those numbers there are actually the supply sources you see. Exactly, and here you can see how much a um, unit costs to be supplied with. The green points mean it's uh, I got plus six for infantry at the moment. This is for air units, which is plus thirty-four because that's an airfield. Okay. And supply this one will is only slowly coming over to my side. Oh, no, no, that's the enemy. Sorry. Um, this is not producing any um, supply yet. But it's going to take a few turns to... Right. And you will know when it does, when the flag is raised all the way up. Exactly. Let's refit those guys. I cannot. I'm going to eliminate that one. So those American units there in the uh, in the town, they're not out of supply because they're standing on a supply base. 
Yep. So it's um, I need to basically cut them off from their supply and uh, cities give good supply. So to say, we're actually going on the attack here. I yeah, should hold out. Yeah, I've got a new commander. Okay. And I can attach them. What he does, he gives plus two against land infantry units. Also within the area. Okay. So where should I attach him? You okay. can attach him to any land unit you want. Let's attach him to this guy. We'll activate him later. I need to deal with that front first. There are, uh, we have a discussion going on in the chat here about the offensive versus defensive scenarios. Uh, most people usually prefer to have offensive scenarios where they can take the initiative themselves. Uh, of course, a defensive scenario every now and then is uh, it could be very challenging, could be very interesting. It should be noted that this game comes with a full editor, um, so you can create your own scenarios uh, or modify uh, scenarios yourself. Uh, so if you don't think there are enough defensive scenarios, for example, you can go out and create them yourself with the uh, with the editor in game, which is actually extremely uh, user friendly. Right, so what do, the, do these lines mean I see on the screen now? They give support, because that's a commander attached to it, they give, he gives support to the all the surrounding units. Okay. So I'm going to leave him there for the time being. I'm going to advance with these guys. So all units now get the commander bonus. Right, and see a minus so one I want to die. going into the mountains, what does yeah, that mean? that's an efficiency drop for my units. Because it's a bit tough for those guys to go into the mountain a mountainous area. Um, uh, I'm afraid there's not enough time uh, uh, today, Party Commissar, to, to get into the uh, the editor. Um, we might look into that actually. It could be very interesting. That's some good scouting over there. Yeah, and I see more units being fortified behind the rivers. Exactly, they've taken up proper defensive positions. Let's take the airfield. I still don't want to commit my points to the air unit. Right, to turn. Uh, Lucas just uh, posted a link chat to the uh, preview of the uh, scenario editor so if you're interested to learn more about that uh, follow that link over there and have a look yep, we're moving away from the mountains yeah if you're also interested there are nine multiplayer scenarios coming with the game okay even two against two uh, what's this here? The advance is slow and difficult. So events are popping up as well. Right, so you got historical events when you as you move through the campaign. Uh, to give a bit of extra immersion really. Okay, there's nothing. Another CMT which I can let's use my recon plane. This city is unguarded, so I'm going to move in there. Alright. That's good. That's good, let's attack. It's not favorable, but I want to risk it. I need, I need this one, this one guy out of the way.
you're moving up your artillery then. Okay, so you managed actually to, to flank the the enemy defenses there. Yes, it was important. He Thanks to, to be proper scouting. He seems to be um, protecting his area. Very heavy fortified over there. Right, there's some armor there. An artillery half track, if I spot it correctly. Let's cross here. No. These guys really annoy me. They don't <laughs> want to die. Please die now. Yep, got him. Finally. Great. So you can push on, take out the anti tank gun as well. Excellent. Yes. That was good to finish off. Injured units. Um, so what we're showing here is uh, mostly a land a scenario. The game, obviously, since it is the Pacific, um, the uh, naval war and the air war are also uh, present. So there are scenarios where you focus more on, on, on air battles. Even one of the multiplayer scenarios is pur purely an air battle. Um, there are games focus more on the naval aspect or, of course, amphibious uh, landings, which were, uh, well, no Pacific game can be complete without any, of course. Isolate the Americans left. And gone as well. So now let's move forward. They're making nice speed here. There are the next guys sitting and waiting. That's not too favorable, so I leave that for later. Um why not? Might as well get rid of that pesky bunk, you know. Well, I should have used the artillery before attacking, but what can we do? Will the game feature a written manual? Yes, definitely. There will be a uh, written manual with the game if you uh, decide to buy a box co copy from our website. Uh, it will come with a printed manual. Uh, am I correct here? Sorry, I didn't yes, it will come with a printed manual, correct? Yes. If you buy a box copy. Yes. Um, also, no, if you buy a box copy, uh, from us, you also get a Steam key as well, so you get both the Steam version and the uh, DRM free version um, with a beautifully laid out manual. Of course, if you have no need for that, you can either buy a digital version from our own website and get a Steam copy as well, or buy directly from Steam, whichever you prefer. Okay, Captain Note 2, victory occasions. Let's get some artillery moving. And a link to the uh, manual is actually being posted now by um, Suhoi, who is behind the slivering group here. Um, so you can have a look in advance at the manual. Um, Again, if you buy a boxed copy, you get a printed one um, looking like this. Of course, the digital one comes with any, or a PDF version of the manual comes with any purchase as well. So you're free to grab it now, have a look, have a read through. Um, perhaps you want to go through some of the rules already before you buy tomorrow and jump in. Yeah, me talking is not great for Alex's tanks. <laughs> Which is why I love talking so much. So, let's cut him off, but... Yeah, let's cut him off. So what are you going to do about all those fortified units there to your, uh, to your left? Well, that seems to be a tough battle ahead, but I want to clear my flanks first. This one's recovering. 
you might want to move some units to the supply stores there and make sure that the Americans then capture it. Well, too late. Let's <laughs> have more scouting down there. Not favorable to attack here. Uh, yes, Alex. Let's attack here. If you buy a box copy, you will receive a Steam key immediately. You don't have to wait until your copy arrives. Uh, you can actually also immediately download the digital version from our end as well. going nicely well at the moment it seems to be okay uh, the polis is correct here you need to you'll get a cereal from our end if you buy a coffee uh, with that cereal you can go to our website and register that cereal there and we will give you a steam key process is fairly simple to be honest so but if you have any issue just contact support and they will help you um, get through the steps should there be any issue you're being chased out there we will have it back <laughs> the village is changing hand Every every turn. Oh, they're quite aggressive, actually. They are. It's not good for me. And the fortress is shooting at me as well. Hi, life. Thank you for joining us. Okay, let's have a look at um, units. Right, so this is the... This is the purchase screen. Okay. This is my infantry I've got available to buy. These are the costs I have to um, pay. Red means I, I'm, I have not, not enough money at the moment. Those are the recon units. This I've got on, on the map. Those are the tanks, anti-tank, artillery, anti-air. Right, and fighter, the unit list bombers. will fill up when you exactly, advance in your yeah. campaign. It will unlock more and better units as you go along. What do the uh, icons in the top right mean of every uh, of every unit? Those are the um, these um, command points. At the moment, I'm not allowed to buy any ships. It costs me four to deploy this light aircraft carrier at the moment. I have f five more points available for. Um, Air units and three more available for. I think one of one of my units died. Yep, this Japanese infantry died. I can reconstitute it, but I don't want to because I need to keep the guys alive, which I've got still left. All right. This is slow going here. Artillery, artillery. You can move up those guys now. You can get some reinforcements to uh, recapture that village there. These guys got a more um It's not too good. It's not excellent, no. They might push you further away next turn. Okay. Ooh, lots of targets for your artillery. Lots there. of targets. Plenty of it. I think I'm going to retreat those guys. You might want to bring up your tanks as well. Lucas tells you to uh, stop using the Elite Repair every time and save up some money. 
Alex chooses uh, quality over quantity. Exactly. That's how it's done. Lucas? Ah, uh, yes, Ben Bishop. The graphics look really nice on this one. There's so much detail to the units. Uh, I can't wait to see a lot more games uh, with this engine, actually. No, I ran into an ambush. Ouch. Ambushed on a bridge. You're, you're very poor now, Alex. Oh, well. There, uh, what can we do? They say you might be able to buy some ice cream. Alright. Wars are expensive, guys. Yeah, and you can't really do an ice cream. <laughs> okay, let's continue from there. Could you show us a bit of how the uh, combat model exactly works with different types of uh, attack values and stuff, with the unit statistics? I can show you some statistics, yes. If anyone wants to buy some war bonds for Alex, then uh, <laughs> I can eat it. Oh, he's cut off once more. enemy artillery pounding hard. Be careful not to lose your commander again. That's what hospitals are for. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. There he goes, the commander and the unit. Died in a river and we can see a counter He's bloody. Appearing. He's bloody. On the He's right. He's recovering from, from the wounds. Nine turns. What a... Gosh. It'd be great if you had some more artillery, to be honest. The range of that thing is so nice. Okay, we got that up. Oh. Very good. Will you be able to save the uh, units that are out of supply there? I don't think so. I can... Oh, that's nice. Excellent. So as you can see, um, all the combat is animated, but you don't have to watch it if you if you don't like it. Uh, you can skip it, you can just keep on controlling the game. You can move different units actually, or assign different attacks while the animation is still going. Um, or you can do as I uh, prefer to do, uh, just watch the, uh, the awesome animations. Especially the flamethrower is one of my favorites. It's tough terrain for that artillery piece. It's a bit slow, but it's coming. You might want to get get those uh, units on the bridge to safety. I can't. You cannot move them. Nope. Tough. Well, okay. There's some questions here about mod support for the game. Um, actually, you can have uh, completely mod foldered um, games, meaning that they won't o overwrite the original content. And um, the Artisocrats, uh, or Lucas is just saying, they're also working on a exporter script. Um, so you can uh, basically import your own models in there and um, really customize your gaming experience. Ouch! Ouch, lost two units. The AI is uh, pounding hard. You wanted to see some stats? 
If I click on that unit, I've got Japanese infantry. Mm -hmm. I, can see the, I can see the stats here. Attack against land, mechanized. Attack against land infantry. Those are all the stats. Defense, defense against land, infantry. Right, and we get a couple of stats in grey there. Lightning bolts and explosion, what do those mean? You mean these? Mm hmm. A sword reduction of enemy fortification level, but that's not right. applying. So, all of this yeah. stuff is uh, also covered in the manual, obviously, and um, stuff is explained in the tutorials yeah. as well and through tooltips, as we can just see. Yeah, for example, the Japanese engineers are specialized against um, enemy fortifications. Right. So, they have different stats here as well efficiency. And we have the tanks here. And I also notice when you have one unit selected and hover over another one, you get quickly you can get to quickly compare them. Uh, yeah, here I inflict three casualties. I take one casualty. Uh, yes, there are strategic bombers in this game, and they actually will be able to destroy uh, supplies as well. So they will be able to disrupt supply lines. Oof, it's a dangerous spot to move into. Well, what can we do? <laughs> That's war, we need to move into dangerous positions all the time. It's a very healthy attitude. I think I'm going to focus to capture this fortress because it's really pain. All right, that's a very nice exchange. Well, Lucas, that's perhaps only if he uh, doesn't die in battle. Making happy here. Very good. Oof. They're prepared. Luckily, an anti tank gun is not the most effective against your infantry. Next turn, I'm going to have firepower from my infantry, uh, from my artillery again. Excellent. So you, you showed us that um, air units need to uh, refuel after a given number of turns. Your scout unit Correct. continues scout to Scout units, on. they don't need to refuel. Same with my scout units, um, which are land-based. They um, cannot take over cities, but they can take over airfields, they cannot um, conquer things. But they don't... They don't need to be in supply either. Okay, so they're encouraged to go behind enemy lines then? Yes. Okay, I've got fleet support now. Nice. Reinforcements. Special event. Okay, so what do you have there? And another. Yeah, that's also very good. I get heavy artillery pieces. Some much needed artillery support. Yes. And with trucks as well. Too so little, can... too late maybe. <laughs> so you can start moving them up. Let's move so on. let's take a look at your fleet. What do you have there? Japanese Marines. Right. What are you going to do with them? Send them into the combat and sacrifice their lives. <laughs> Honorably, obviously. Of course. Of course. So your plane has only uh, four turns left of fuel. That's true. So I should consider sending it back at some point or get some forward. Well, I could take this one, but I'm under attack from here as well which is not favorable to my airplane either. Um, right, so are you going to move it back very far away and have it take a number of turns or take the risk and do an airfield close to enemy lines? Okay. 
unfortunately your artillery is not very successful. Come on, follow up attack Nina. So let's just leave them there. Okay, so it's done. All right, let's pick some juicy targets here. Oh, very nice. No anti-tank gun is capable of withstanding your flamethrower units. Of course not. The bridge or no support to no, the left. I'm not I really want to take the fortress. As to uh, multiplayer, you mentioned there are a fixed number of multiplayer scenarios in place. Um, you can make more with the editor, yeah. and um, if you're interested, multiplayer uses our um, PBM servers, uh, which means that actually hassle-free, easy uh, multiplayer. So you, you don't have to be online at the same time. Uh, you play your turn, your turn then get automatically uploaded to the server and your uh, opponent is getting a message that it's his turn to play now. Um. Oh great, they're moving in. And they're going to cut me off. <laughs> Should have seen that one coming. <laughs> Gosh, that's uh, the AI punishing you. No, that's an ambush for them, because no one got them. Uh, so it was in purpose? Of course. Of course, okay. <laughs> All part of your great strategy. And we have an enemy gunboat. A very brave enemy gunboat. <laughs> Bit. You isolated the enemy. I couldn't hurt them, but they're going to have an efficiency drop already. Three, four stars. Three, four stars. Right. You're getting poor again. Oh, so close to the tank. Oh, it's nearly dead anyway. Yep. So let's move over. So where will you land these uh, marines? I have no clue yet. But okay. <laughs> I think I'm going to land them here or here. To leave my forces. And to cut those guys off. Right. Okay. Lots of infantry in the jungle there. Lots of cash as well, which I sorely need. Pull up here. Excellent. So you can see running through the jungle causes some uh, efficiency drops for most units. It's of course not easiest okay, so terrain to maneuver through. I've got a link up now with the other forces. Ah yes, very good. Slant sky as well. I will left. A scout. There's an artillery piece. And the PT. Yeah, it's annoying. <laughs> Okay. 
Right, let's see if you can get rid of that bunker sooner or later. Ah, what's Ooh, this? Tanks captured. A number of abandoned stewards. Good, they're joining my side. That's very <laughs> good news. That's very nice. So these are just a couple of examples we've seen for now of events that are uh, within the campaign that are within the different scenarios, making it a bit more dynamic, giving it some extra historical feel, and of course they can help you or annoy you uh, depending on whether it's good or bad news and change the uh, balance of power a bit within the scenario. So Alex is going to use some of these uh, stewards now, which can be put to good use. Right, so you isolate one artillery piece. That's nice. Okay, let's finish these guys up. Oof. Town is well defended. Yep. Okay, now let's look at to combat and to prepare him and get him back into fight next turn. Um, I think that's about it. Can do. I think so. Some torpedoes here. Those poor marines. <laughs> Must be dreadful to be in a transport ship being attacked by torpedoes. Well, I can see they're a bit seasick, but. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, this game actually allows you to rename your units. So, especially when you're doing the campaign and you bring forward your co core force from mission to mission. Renaming them is, uh, is a very cool feature to make them easily recognizable and also to get a bit more attached to them than you otherwise would. And that's the end of those troops. And you got the bunker down as well, a fair bit. This bloody thing doesn't want to die. Yay! You got video. it! Our infantry brigades have stormed the stronghold of Mount Samat. Some of the heavy artillery guns have been captured. Excellent. So you can now use the artillery to your advantage. Exactly. Okay, let's capture that as well. Um, that's right. Okay, let's. They're fully backed up now. I'm going ah. to. Perfect. Get them back into the game. This is out as well. Flanking the enemy artillery. Always clever. Can do as well as they did to me. Um, always forgetting my artillery. Alright, now I can land my troops. Just land them here. They're a bit depleted. But... So now I'm going to give supply as well to these troops here. 
Ah, oh, right. So, that's so they won't be out of uh, supply. What the supply ship Next is for? Turn. They should be fine because they're in my supply route. Maybe they want the AI is going to cut me off. They might try it. And he's recovering. Commander is back in four turns. He is then. Excellent. Ah, uh, more coastal more. patrols. Yeah. It's a bit of a rough landing for the Marines. Very rough landing. <laughs> <laughs> right, very well planned and executed maneuver here. Uh, it was. It shows you the importance of strategy in a strategy <laughs> title. Right, so again, this is uh, one of these scenarios from the campaign. Uh, each campaign has uh, 12 scenarios, um, so there's quite a lot to go on to. You can see this scenario is quite lengthy as well. Um, you get about 40 turns per scenario. Um, so there's a lot of gameplay here, really. And of course, they can be played, uh, their scenarios from both sides. And um, there's different difficulty levels as well. Uh, how many difficulty levels do we have in game? We have five difficulty levels. All right. So that adds some uh, replayability as well, or some extra challenge for those who want it. And of course, the real challenge is in the multiplayer, which again is where the game really shines. And there goes the naval support. The fleet is not getting any honors for this uh, operation. Trying again there. That's well, great. I have to get in a position there. Right, so let's see um, if, if we're able to capture the town here across the bridge for tonight as our final objective we set ourselves. Obviously, this game is way too long to be showing you a full um, scenario in one stream. Yeah, depending on your pace, on your own pace. I would say 40 to 60 hours at least. To get through the full game? I would say so, yeah. Right, so that's uh, quite a lot of content there. Again, it depends very much. In turn-based strategy, there is a lot of difference, of course, in the speed people are going through it, whether you're contemplating every move or uh, trying to rush through it a bit and uh, wanting to see as much of the units of the missions as possible. Um, if you uh, joined us later on or uh, missed part of the stream, be, um, We'll be sure to put a VOD on YouTube, a re recording of this stream, and it will be available to rewatch here on the Twitch as well. Why don't you use your torpedo bomber against the enemy naval units, Alex? That's a question coming from the uh, well-educated audience here. Because I don't have a torpedo bomber to spare to buy for. I need it all for my land units. I mean, I could buy it to Peter Bombers, but it's always preference. I just let them run wild. Right. Other priorities. Let's get over here. You managed to advance quite a bit actually in the past turns. Get your artillery in now as well. It's gonna help out a lot. Artillery is moving in. Now I've got the fortress on my side, I'm going to use them as well to my advantage. Excellent. Let's see what the AI brings now. That's good. It's a nice trade for you. 
and more torpedoes being launched. Well, the supply ship is useless yeah. now, isn't it? Supply is fine. I don't really care about my supply ship anymore. But your infantry is getting dangerously low here. Alright, let's play one final turn to wrap it up. Okay. Again, guys, we, we were not, unfortunately, not able to show you an entire scenario tonight. Um, the scenario is simply too long, there's too much going on. We hope you had a nice taste, though, of uh, some of the uh, Japanese units. If you want to see the uh, US side, be sure to rewatch um, last week's stream where we played the US scenario. Um, covered some of the basics of the game as well. Um, and it also has a good bit of naval combat in it, so if you're interested in that, be sure to rewatch that one. Uh, the game is releasing uh, tomorrow, actually, so if you like what you see, uh, and uh, have, perhaps have a browse through the manual um, that we showed. Um, be sure to, to grab the game, uh, buy it from us, buy it from Steam. Uh, if you buy it from us, you get a Steam game, or a Steam key as well. Um, so actually, there's no reason not to buy it from us. Other than a sheer convenience, perhaps. Uh, again, this game has single player, multiplayer, it has an editor, it is uh, uh, fairly mod friendly. We're working actually to expand on that part as well. Um, and of course, it has gorgeous graphics and animations, tons of unit diversity. Um, so, very great game to pick up. If you love it, uh, <laughs> you can buy it as well, of course, no issue with that. No problem. You know? So as you can see, we have uh, within the campaign we have a ton of uh, different historical events ch shaking things up. We got different difficulty levels. We got different nations represented, not just the U.S. and the uh, and the Japanese. We got the Philippines. We got the British. We got, of course, the Dutch uh, in game as well, of course. Uh, and um, we got a very great multiplayer system. Uh, so that's definitely something, once you get comfortable with the game, uh, once you've played through the tutorial, or perhaps had a browse through the manual, be sure to, to try and, and get a, uh, a multiplayer game going, because it's really a tons of fun. We played a good number of uh, missions as well here in the office already with uh, earlier versions. All right, uh, so that's it what we have to offer to you uh, tonight. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Alex, for showcasing the game. Thanks a lot, guys. And uh, we'll be back next week. Again, if you're interested in the game, click on the banner below. It will take you right through the product page where it will be available uh, tomorrow around noon, midnight. Yeah, noon, two o'clock. Sometime two tomorrow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Again, both on our end and on Steam. So thanks once more, and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you like what you've seen. Uh, please drop us any feedback you might have on the Twitch, any ideas, any issues. We'd love to hear from you. And um, we'll be again next week. Uh, be sure to grab us, uh, to watch us, and uh, we'll be playing a new game. Exciting. Something we haven't shown you before. <laughs> All right. Thanks again for watching, and thanks, see guys. you next time.